points. What? Get that out of here. Get that out of here. There you go, let them deal with that. I don't want to get hurt. Oh no. Okay, you... Get in there. Oh, they actually took it out. They actually took out the wizard. No, he didn't! Okay, my bad. Oh no. You see, if I would've, if I would've went out there, uh, I would've got screwed. By the Satsu. Go! 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 You fight him. Or her. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that's right, you guys just keep fighting. Yeah. And of course, I think the wizard is still alive, yes. Guys, finish the job. Of course, the other one's just gonna stay in the corner, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Great. Why aren't you doing anything? Come on! There we go! Finally both of them are What? Okay. Finally both of them are attacking. There we go. These guys, I guess, would probably be... More like a glorified distraction. I can summon them as many times as I want. Uh, but usually they're only going to be useful if, uh, what did I just pick up? Oh, probably, probably more apples. Usually they're only going to be effective as a team. And that's going to be pretty hard considering sometimes they'll just sit there and not do anything. You can hit them in order to get them to move, however. But that sometimes backfire. That sometimes backfires because, uh, you're usually really strong. And you're probably gonna kill them. Oh, good stairs down. Very good. Let's go ahead and check out this doorway first. And see if we have crackalackin' going on here. Ooh, look at that. The way back was like right there. Good, good. Unfortunately, I imagine they're probably going to spawn in some pretty powerful guys in this room on my way back. But that's even if you make it back, or even if you make it to the treasure. I could just not make it to the treasure at all. There is always that possibility. Okay. Ooh, blacksmith. This is good. Because the blacksmith is just a random guy that will spawn in on a level, and he will strengthen whatever weapon you want him to. So let's go ahead and do that. We have safety battle axe of awesome. Good. Do it again. What did that do? Oh! Look at my defense! Look at my defense when holding the axe. This has seven. Alright, one more time. And... Oh, I, I move much faster with it now, so he probably made it more speedier. Well, thanks. I'm not going to spend any more. Give me back my money. Yeah, I'm not going to spend any more, even though I could. But I don't want to waste my score. Ah, uh, here's the music. The music is, uh... Ramping up. The, ramp the music is probably ramping up because we have probably have a whole bunch of uh, magicians in there. Wizards, magicians, whatever. 
If I hit the switch, it's gonna unleash those guys. Let's do it. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. Why did it have to be snakes? Go! these snakes right here. They do give me apples though, so that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, the music is really intense now. Go! Oh jeez. It's gonna take him a long time to actually deal with that wizard over there. I should probably just deal with this guy on my own. Because that guy isn't doing anything. Oh. Okay, I don't really mind getting attacked by the snakes. I can just not get attacked by the wizard. There we go. Luckily, they always put a switch on the inside here. Oh god. Uh, there are two wizards right by each other. Go! Defend my honor. deal with them is by bummersing them. Did I get anything else? Oh, I got another one. Oh, I, got, I, got, I got two more books. What is this? Okay, that one's really lame. This one is to make them confused. But it only makes enemies confused for like a couple of seconds, and it's not very useful at all. I don't like it. So what do we have for this one? <gasps> oh, yes. There are three versions of the spell that you can get. They all do the same thing. They all You can all summon little skulls that uh, fly around and home in on people. And there's, there's three versions, which are green, blue, and red. The green one is the weakest, the blue one is the medium one, and the red one is the strong one. I've never gotten the red one before, but I have gotten the blue one before, and these are really useful. Which means if I play my cards right, I don't ever have to take damage. I mean, that's probably not gonna happen, but still, you know. Okay, let's slip it around. That's pretty good. Let me do this. Azure? What is Azure per what is the Azure per person? I don't have that one yet. Well let's see what it does. Uh, Azure. Now, what does this do? Makes me barf. And I think that's the fence down. So that would be a no. Yeah, it was. Okay, so we have our guys. And we have the blue homing missiles. I think they're called like magic missiles or something. So, haha. -ha. All right, well, we are looking really good. But unfortunately, it's always when I'm looking really good is when I always die. <laughs> I hope I don't, because I have some really good weapons. All right, that's good. I thought that was a red magician for a second. I will show you how these things work. Go! 
40 damage! 40 damage each! These things are really good. And considering that you can spawn as many as you like, well, you can't really spawn as many as you like. I think you can have, like, how many can you have on screen at once? You can have a lot on screen at once. I don't quite think there's a limit. I mean, there probably is a limit, but... Technically, there's probably not. So that's good. Alright. Oh, okay. I was about to uh, send these guys out into the, into the darkness. Yes, I was about to cast Magic Missile into the darkness. Oh, there's a Wraith! Those are uh, the guys I was telling you about earlier. Now, like I was saying earlier, those guys will charge at you really fast, and no matter how well you think you can actually strike them before they hit you, they always get you. So, I'm gonna hope that these things can home, home in on it. And hopefully, they'll attack it. There we go. And they give you tons of experience, too. Because they're so hard to they're so hard to uh, deal with. All right, that's good, very good. So now, hopefully, I won't have to worry about about those things ever again. Seriously, they're just so BS. Like they'll be flying at you, and you'll be like, "Okay, I'm ready for you," and you think that you'll attack at the right moment, but it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. It always manages to hit you for like a high amount of damage. Come on, somebody knows me. Somebody knows me. Oh, come on. Oh, what? Dang. These guys have a lot more HP than I thought. A lot more than the orcs do. Oh, what do we have here? What are these things? I think that's a hat up there. So what is this? Safety Nimble Musketeer Hat of Awesome. Not too bad, but uh, I don't need it. And what is this? Nimble Ethereal Virtual Kid Headset of Protection. Is this like your Virtual Boy? I think it is, because it's called Virtual Kid. That's funny. Yeah, I wear it on my face. Oh well, I really don't need it. That'd be cool if it uh, turned, if when you wore that, it uh, turned everything you see into like red lines and stuff. Man, that'd be weird. Okay, what do we have? Hot pink? What does hot pink do? Uh, that would be a big fat no. And Fusa? Ooh, it's attack. See how my, uh, in the blue, how to the very left in the blue, it's 118. But in parentheses, it's 150. That means my max attack power is 150. But right now, it's, uh... But right now, it's only at 118 because of, uh, fatigue and stuff. I also get a plus two or whatever. But uh, if I drink this, it brings it back up to 150. So I guess it would be a good idea to save it, but, eh... I'm not usually very good at that. You have a succubus, uh, succubus down here. And a wizard, of course. So, stay away from him. Alright, very good. Took care of those guys fairly easily. You'll have a wizard's duel. Have at you. Spawn a whole bunch before he even knows I'm here. Wizard's duel, go! Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oh god. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Huh. <laughs> well. I think it's safe to say I kind of cheated there. Oh my god. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wraith. Of course one of those guys had to come out. Get him! Oh my god. Thank you. 
one of those guys don't have that much health. They do have a little bit more health than you expect, so... Whew, man. It's close. I didn't want him to get me. Unfortunately, I don't have... any extra health potions right now. So I'll just have to keep selling apples into my face. To make sure I don't die. Oh god. <laughs> Screw you, little devil imp. Oh, hey, it's the stairs down. Ah, here we go. Very good. Anything else over here? Yeah, switch. That probably does nothing, but okay. That's fine. I'd rather a switch do nothing than have it, uh, spawn in a whole bunch of evil stuff. Okay, so this leads back to level 12. I wish I had some, I wish I had some spray paint. Spray paint makes this a whole lot easier when you're coming back up from the 26th floor. Because you can mark which door leads the way back to the stairs up. You just, uh, spray paint it on a wall. And you're good to go. And it's really useful to have it. If you get the treasure. Okay, and we're back here. Alright. So unfortunately, I'll have to deal with all this by memory. Because, uh, I don't have any, sp uh, I don't have any spray prints. Oh my god. I'm very lucky that that guy did not hit me, because they just spawned that mummy in front of, in front of, of the door. Firebat, of course. Always gotta have variations on the bats, don't they? My worst nightmare. And wizards, of course. Oh, stairs down, that's nice. Oh god. Alright, that, that went pretty well. Alright, who else do we have over here? Is this you? No, it's not just you. We have a ghosty as well. So I'm going to try to send out as many of these things as possible to try to clear them out. There we go. That went very, very well. Nope, alright. Uh, I bet this is a secret door. Uh, hey, I knew it. Oh, we get to introduce these little glowing blocks. Ah, crap, this is not a very good situation. Okay, you follow me. Ah. I hate how the only way of, uh, healing I have is apples right now. Okay, run away. Don't let him see me. I gotta wait for him to turn around again. I could just spam him with a whole bunch of, uh, blue orbs. But that would take a long time. Now, what these blue blocks do is, uh, oh god, somebody's gonna come in. They light up a whole room. If you attack it, the room will become completely dark. But, if you break it open, it will sometimes have a whole bunch of money in it, or it will have a whole bunch of potions inside of it. So it's kind of a risk-reward type thing. Because it will also sometimes have a uh, crap in it, like a monster, or a single coin, or something like that. But, because I have the miner's helmet, and I always have a source of light on me, I can go ahead and break it. No problem. Ah, and we get potions. Very good. And I think you always get a healing potion in one of them, at least. I think you always get a healing potion for one of the ones that it gives you. So let's check them out. Um, Milky White, that was... Large health, okay. 
Rusty Orange, that would be a no. And Hot Pink, I'm pretty sure it was no. Yeah, that's a no. Alright, so we got at least we got a large health out of it. That's good. Got a whole bunch of money from him. That's a bomb. Little bomb bomb guy. Alright. Well, that's good. If we just go over to the far right door, we will be led straight back to the entrance. Level 14. And with another glow block. Oh, we got two. It's also, I should say that, uh, even if you attack one... Oh, come on! Ooh, look at this! Hello! I didn't see you guys in there. Why oh, you guys come out? Come on out again, huh? What is that, inky black? I don't think that's good. Yeah, inky black? That would be a no. Oh well. Worth a shot. Yeah, even if you attack one of these and break them, the entire light in the room disappears. Even if there's another one, like this. Yeah, it gets really dark. Huh, actually it doesn't get... Yeah, it does get actually pretty dark. Rusty orange is a no. Hot pink. Uh, of course it gives me two hot pink when it's also a no. Aqua, what is aqua? That's a small health. Okay, so that's good. Oh, that's good. So we have two large healths and two small healths. Alright, good, good. So yeah, I say that, uh, if you don't have, if you don't have a miner's helmet, usually you want to be pretty, you want to consider if it's worth breaking one of these or not. Because like I said, sometimes it will be really good rewards, or sometimes it will be crap. Like, I bet this one won't be very good. Oh, no, there we go. That's a large coin I was talking about. Gives you a whole bunch of coins. It's really good. But sometimes it'll just give you like a single coin, or sometimes it'll have an enemy inside of it. Man, I'm getting pretty good. Pretty good drops. Yeah, if you don't have it, I wouldn't recommend breaking them unless it's in a room where you don't have to come back to. Oh, these guys are horrible. Those guys. Those guys with the pit's fork? Uh, if they touch you, they only do one damage to you, but they make you confused for a long time. Oh, that's good. Oh no. Plus I have a lot of HP, see? I'm confused. But luckily, uh, it only does one damage to you, and... It's not too bad. It's only really bad if there's a lot of enemies around him, or you're by lava. So, as long as you're not one of those, those guys are no threat. Ooh. Take a drink. Alright. Come on. There we go. Level up. Nazis. Those little fire amps hurt. Oh, look what I got. Safety filth. Safety filth scepter. Oh, scepter of power, my bad. What does this do? That's just 24 damage. Well, not as good as my axe that does 33 damage and has lots of defense. So, sorry. Okay, there we go. So, now what's through here? Oh. Oh god, it's a unicorn. 